Hey there, welcome back to another fun art project with Mr. Steve. Today I'm gonna to show you how I painted a box. I was able to get this box from a friend. Um, sometimes you can find boxes at Michael's craft stores, uh, different places. So you're gonna need a wooden box, acrylic paint, some tape for the straight edges if you choose to go that way. Work on top of a newspaper, some brushes and water, and a rag. Here's a picture of pretty much all you need. Minus the sandpaper. First thing I wanted to do because I felt that the box was a little too rough, I took a very fine grade sandpaper and just brushed it off a little bit. Then I added like a primer is a gesso that I had in my studio. It dried, started to paint the inside of the box. Okay, and the top. And the outside. The outside dried, so I decided to put a nice horizon. Okay, adding a little bit of magenta to that. Gives it a nice color for a sunset. Now I'm adding a little bit of orange, not worrying about blending it out. I like, um, I like texture, so I use a lot of paint. Doing the same thing on all four sides now. Paint's still wet adding some yellow okay. I'm adding a little bit of uh, pink I don't want to lose all that orange so I'm just uh, dabbing it on randomly that's dry so now I can put some yellow just a little bit of yellow I'm trying to imagine what a sunset might look like added a little bit of blue. Paint's dry so I can gently take it off and I'm putting another strip on. Okay, now I'm going on to the inside of the box where I'm painting a half moon. But I'm using white first because I want the yellow. Well, you'll see. some buildings in here okay. so now the white has dried so I can go back over it with yellow and it's gonna appear more opaque the color will be more vibrant whereas if I didn't then it would be kind of transparent it would still be dark and streaky I don't like that so I put a lot of paint on to cover it up good I like lots of paint I think it's because I like artists like Van Gogh I really enjoy looking at his paintings up some purple deciding to use purple for the windows I'm real choosy I don't like to repeat colors and as you see it's a it takes time to paint the shapes to come up with the idea but I enjoy it so I choose to do it why but I either make my doors either red or brown I don't know why red doors are so popular okay the purple has dried so now I'm gonna add some blue for the inside 
And now that green is dried, so I can take that off. And now I'm going to put another piece of tape down, and that's going to be for my water. And the water's dried. I did add a little bit of white on top of that blue and some texture. Now I'm adding a boat. And you can kind of see me shaking, and that is mostly because working the paint, and I'm trying to maintain a straight line. So you have to move that brush in all different ways. And I get nervous in front of the camera. So that's probably another reason. Lots of paint, lots of paint. A ridiculous amount of paint, but it all works in the end for me. sand, some yellow ochre and white, some trunks for the palm trees. lines and funky looking shapes. I like to make them fit like a puzzle. It's a challenge, it's fun when it happens. detail to the palm trees now.
go to put my signature man into the picture. Leaning back on the palm tree. Magenta, I, I really like magenta. It's one of my favorite colors. Puzzle pattern. some grass. Now that all dried, so now I'm going to take a nice clear coat and carefully put it on. Making sure I brush out all the drips. I don't want too much. Okay, well, thanks for joining and watching my project and how to paint a box. And uh, hope to see you in the near future with more art fun from Mr. Steve. Have a really nice day.